welcome to my class. Our topic, Computing Test Statistic Value Involving Population Proportion. Our objectives are Describe the Z-Test Statistic of Proportion, Compute the Z-Value for Population Proportion, and lastly, Solve Problems Involving the Z-Value for Population Proportion. To start with, let's have a review. Let's take this given example. A recent survey done by the Philippine Housing Authority found that 35% of the population owns their homes. In a random sample of 240 heads of households, 78 responded that they own their homes. Let us answer the following question. What part of the whole population own their homes? From the given, it states that 35%. Second, what is the value of P? Since the population is 35%, that is 0.35. Next, what is the size of the sample? In the given statement, our given N is 240 heads. Number four, how many own their homes? Given there are 78 responded that they own their homes. And last, last one, compute for the value of P or the population sample, which is 78 all over 240, which is equivalent to 0 0.325. Let us again use the given example. A recent survey done by the Philippine House Authority found that 35% of the population owns their homes in a random sample of 240 heads of household, 78 responded that they own the homes. To clearly understand, we have two options, the one which own their houses and the other one which do not own their house. The first one option sh sh uh, shows that that is the success on P, and option two is the failure or what we know as Q. Therefore, the condition for a binomial experiment is met. Also, to be able to satisfy the condition that NP is greater than or equal to 5 and NQ is also greater than or equal to 5, we find that the hypothesized value of the population proportion is P which is 0.35, the sample which is 240, and our Q which is 0.65. Stating that we have NP is less than 5, is 240 times 0.35 is 84. 84 is greater than or equal to 5. The same with NQ is greater than, greater than or equal to 5. 240 times 0 0.65 is 156, which is also true that it's greater than and equal to 5. Now, let us discuss Z-test statistic for population proportion. Using the given formula, Z sub com is equal to P hat minus P all over the square root of PQ over N. Where Z com is the Z test statistic for proportion, P hat is the sample proportion, P is the hypothesized value of the population proportion, N is the sample size or the number of observations in the sample, and Q is equal to 1 minus P. To deepen our understanding, let us utilize the given formula in the following example. A recent survey done by the Philippine Housing Authority found that 35% of the population owns their homes. In a random sample of 240 heads of household, 78 responded that they own their homes. Find the Z to subcom. Let us determine first the given. P hat is equal to X over N, where X is 78 and N is equal to 240 heads which is 78 over 240 is equal to 0.325. To be able for us to know now the P, which is 35%, we're going to convert it into decimal, which is 0.35. Now, our given sample, which is 240, and our Q, which is 1 minus P, where our P is equal to 0.35, 1 minus 
0.35 is equal to 0.65. To find the Z sub com, we're going to use the formula E hat minus P all over square of PQ over N. Let us substitute the given. Our P hat is 0.325. Our P or population is 0.35. Divided by the square root of 0.35 times 0.65 all over 2 for p. 0.325 minus 0.35 is equal to negative 0 0.025. And 0.35 all over 0.65 divided by 2 for p is 0 0.03079. Dividing po negative 0.025 by 0 0.03079. We have a given C com, which is one, negative 812 or negative 0 0.812. Let's take another one. The claim is made that 40% of tax filers use computer software to file their taxes. In example 50, 14 used computer software to file their taxes. To test the null hypothesis, which is P is equal to 0.4, Versus the alternative hypothesis, which is P, is greater than 0.4 at the given alpha of 0 0.05, where P is the population proportion who use computer software to file the taxes. To test using the binomial distribution and test using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution, let us determine the Z com. Let us first determine the given. Our P hat, which is our X, which is 14. Our n, which is 50, so 14 divided by 50 is equal to 0.28. And our given p, which is 40%, converted to decimal, we have 0.40. The, the same with the sample of 50. To be able to get the q, we have 1 minus p, which is p is 0.40. 1 minus 0.40 is 0.60. Now, let us use, use the formula for C com, which is P hat minus P all over PQ is all over the square root of PQ over N. Substituting the given, we have 0.28 minus 0.40 divided by the square root of 0.40 times 0.60 all over 50. The result of, neg of 0 0.28 minus 0.40 is negative 0.12 and 0.40 times 0.60 divided by 50 is the square root of 0 0.0048. The result of the square root of 0 0.0048 is 0 0.069. Dividing negative 0.12 by 0 0.069, we have negative 1.739. Let's take another one. An insurance industry report indicated that 30% of those persons involved in minor traffic accidents this year have been involved in at least one traffic accident in the last five years. Believing it was too large, an advisory group decided to investigate this claim. A sample of 200 traffic accidents this year showed that 56 persons were also involved in another accident in the last five years. Let us determine the CCOM. Again, let us determine the given. P hat is equal to x over n. Our x is 56 and our n is 200. So 56 divided by 200 is equal to 0.28. Given the population which is 30% converted to decimal, we have 0.30. And the sample of 200. Getting the value of q, we have 1 minus p. Over P is 0.30, 1 minus 0.30 is 0.70. Let us find the Z com using again the formula P hat minus P all over the square root of PQ over N. Substituting the given, we have 0.28 times 0. minus 0. 0.30 divided by 0. 0.30 times 0. 0.70 all over 200. We have 0. 0.28 minus 0. 0.30 is negative 0. 0.02. And 0.30 times 0.70 divided by 200 is equal to the square of 0 
rewriting negative 0.02 and getting the square of 0.00105, we have 0.0324. Thus, dividing 0.02 by 0.0324, we have our ZCOM which is negative 0.6173. For our summary, we're just going to remember the formula for computing for the population proportion or the z-test statistic, which is z sub com is equal to p hat minus p all over the square of pq all over n. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. And always remember, aim high, senior high!